सर नाउ आई विल एक्सप्लेन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फॉर द इंटरव्यू रूम रिलेटेड टू जेडीबीसी राइट सर इन जेडीबीसी हाउ मेनी एग्जीक्यूट मेथड्स आर अवेलेबल हाउ मेनी एग्जीक्यूट मेथड्स आर अवेलेबल व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दीज मेथड्स एंड फॉर व्हिच पर्पस वी कैन यूज दीज मेथड्स यू पीपल शुड हैव क्लियर क्लैरिटी अबाउट दीज मेथड्स राइट ओके सर फर्स्ट पॉइंट यू शुड अवेयर इन जेडीबीसी देयर आर फोर एग्जीक्यूट मेथड्स आर अवेलेबल कैन आई कैन स्पेल आउट हाउ मेनी सर फोर एग्जीक्यूट मेथड्स आर अवेलेबल राइट सर फर्स्ट वन ओके लेट मी टॉक फर्स्ट वन Execute query method. Are you getting? Execute query method. In my JDBC videos, I explain very clearly, sir. Execute query method. Second one, sir. Execute update method. Third one, execute method. Execute. Fourth one, sir. Execute batch. Are you getting that? Execute batch. Okay, this is the batch execute or execute batch. हाँ एक्सिक्यूट बैच और बैच एक्सिक्यूट सर टू एक्सिक्यूट बैच अपडेट एक्सिक्यूट बैच आर गेटिंग राइट एक्सिक्यूट बैच दिस इज दीज आर द फोर मेथड्स व्हाट वी हैव इन जेडीबीसी राइट सर इट्स वेरी क्लियर फॉर यू पीपल इन जेडीबीसी हाउ मेनी एक्सिक्यूट मेथड्स आर अवेलेबल कैन यू कैन एक्सप्लेन हाउ मेनी एक्सिक्यूट मेथड्स आर अवेलेबल सर फोर एक्सिक्यूट मेथड्स व्हाट द फर्स्ट वन एक्सिक्यूट क्वेरी एक्सिक्यूट अपडेट नेक्स्ट एक्सिक्यूट एक्सिक्यूट बैच आर गेटिंग दैट दीज आर फोर मेथड्स व्हिच आर अवेलेबल जस्ट वेरी ब्रीफली लेट मी टॉक अबाउट दीज मेथड्स दीज आर सिंटैक्सेस सो दैट यू पीपल कैन फील मोर कंफर्टेबल राइट ओके सर नाउ द फर्स्ट मेथड Execute query method, right? Okay. Execute query method, sir. Execute query method is can be used uh, to execute select queries. Remember this one, sir. I want to select uh, all employees' information. I want to select all trains information. I want to select all movies information, sir. If you want to execute select query. then we should go for what execute query method select the select operations if you want to perform then we should go for execute query method right sir select star from employees are you getting if i can if i can use select a star from employees then i will get a group of records in jdbc group of records by default we can represent by using what result set remember this that's why so the written type of Execute query method. Return type is result set. Clear for all of you, right? Okay. So if you want the syntax, okay, result set, result set, R S is equal to result set R S is equal to S T dot S T dot execute query. S T dot execute query. Sir, by using execute query method, which type of queries we can execute, sir? Select query. Are you getting right? Which query we can execute? Select, select star from select star from employees. Are you getting right? Select star from employees. Now terminology is very clear for you people, right? The first method for which purpose we can use and what is the return type of this? method sir sir very simple let me repeat once again there are four types of execute methods are there in that first one is what execute query method execute query method is applicable for select select queries right okay remember there the return type of execute query method is the result set which represents uh, the group of records clear right so what is the first method execute query method right sir what is the second one sir second method execute update are getting execute update the name itself indicates right update update sir if you want to execute non select queries sir like insert insert a record delete a record update a record if you want to execute non select queries better to go for what execute update method sir now my question is sir what is the return type of execute update method sir do you know if if you are performing non select operations then what is the return what is the result i am going to get sir sir one row created or two rows updated three rows deleted like uh, it is always going to return a number an int value a number which represents uh, the number of records updated are you getting that that's why make sure sir the return type of execute update method is int value clear for all of you right okay sir now just observe that int uh, update count 
Are you getting? Int update count count is equal to sir st dot execute update. St dot execute update. Sir, which query you require to pass? You can pass either insert query or you can pass either delete query or you can pass either update query. Non-select operations. If you want to perform, then happily we can go for what execute update method. Clear, right? The most commonly used method, either execute query method or execute update method, right? Sir, what is the return type of execute update method? Update. I mean int value. Which represents the number of rows affected, number of rows created, number of rows deleted, number of rows updated. Clear for all of you, right? First two methods execute query applicable only for select operations, execute update, which is applicable for non select operations, right? Clear? Any explanation is required? That's all, sir. So, sometimes, sometimes, I don't know, I don't know the type of the query. Because if I know the type of the query, it is always select a query. Happily, you can go for execute query method. Sir, I don't know, sir, if it is if it is always insert query or if it is always delete query, update query. Happily, you can go for execute update. Sir, if you know the type of the query at the beginning, happily, we can go for execute query method and execute update methods, right? Sir, sometime, I don't know the type of the query. At runtime, from the command prompt, I will get the query. Or at runtime, from properties file, I will get the query. Or at runtime, from database, I will get the query, sir. That query may be select query, that query may be non-select query. I don't know that. If you don't know, if you don't know the type of the query, the type of the query at the beginning, sir, then we should go for execute method. Are you getting that? What is the biggest advantage of execute method is, sir, it is going to work for select queries, even for non-select queries also, no problem at all. Sir, then how to use this one, sir? How you can able to use? Very simple, sir. Very simple. Sir, the return type of execute method is Boolean. Boolean. Remember that. Because you can't tell it is int, you can't tell it is the result set. Because it is applicable for non-select operations. It's applicable for select operations also. That's why the return type of execute method is Boolean, sir. Now observe that. Boolean. Boolean. B is equal to boolean b is equal to st dot execute sir what is the third method execute method execute method is applicable for select queries and the even non select queries also execute query method is applicable for select queries and even for non select queries also no problem at all but how to decide sir if it is a select query how i can get the result set if it is a non select query how i can get the result set like how i can get update count like you may have the doubt very simple sir what is the return type boolean boolean based on this return type we will come to know whether the underlying query the select query or non select query sir make sure sir if if Sir, B is equal to true, sir. If a B is equal to true, what is the meaning of that one? Is it is the select query. Remember that if internally select query is there, then automatically the return type by default we are going to get one, sir, boolean true, true, sir. If B is equal to true, then automatically, sir, you can ask result set RS is equal to ST dot get the result set. Are you getting? Yes, we don't get result set. And happily, you can use that result set. No problem at all. Clear, right? Next, else, else. What is the meaning of else, sir? Else means it is not true. It is not true. It is not true means it is not select query. Then it is a non-select query. Are you getting? It is a non-select query. If it is a non-select query, then automatically we will get update count, right? In update count int update count is equal to st dot get update count st dot get update count make sure sir you people should give it so observe that the most commonly used methods in jdbc is these three methods only execute query method 
execute update method execute method can you spell out execute query method is always applicable only for select operation the return type of execute query method is result as set clear right execute update method is applicable for non select operations either insert or delete or update the return type of this method is int value which represents which represents the number of rows inserted or number of rows deleted or updated sir if you know the type of the query always sir it's always select a query execute query method it's always non select a query execute update method right but sometimes in our programming sometimes i may not aware the type of the query at the beginning if you don't know the type of the query at the beginning happily we can go for one execute method because execute method is applicable for select queries non select queries right sir if we can use execute method for select and non select query then how to get the result set or update count based on return type remember the return type of execute method is one boolean if b is equal to true it is the select query directly you can ask ka result set sir if b is equal to false non select query directly you can ask what is the update count clear for all of it sir that's all these are the three important execute methods whatever available in jdbc right are you getting basic idea up to this right very very important sir next uh, there are some more extra facilities are there about this execute method sir execute method can be used uh, to execute stored procedures also are you getting right execute method can be used to execute one stored procedures also or stored functions also if any stored procedure is there in the database i want to call that i want to call that uh, stored procedure or function for that callable statement execute method are you getting right sir what is the way first we require to create callable statement cst is equal to callable statement cst is equal to do you know con dot prepare call are you getting con dot prepare call sir assume assume my stored procedure name is my stored procedure name is get emp info are you getting get emp info info like uh, sir that's all so assume that assume that get the emp info is the stored procedure which is already there in the database clear for all of right sir to execute this stored procedure okay by using callable statement we can use one cst dot execute method clear for all of right sir execute method is applicable for normal queries execute method is applicable for sir to call stored procedures also to execute stored the procedures also perfectly happily you are allowed to use clear for all of you sir next one have a look once sir up to this how many methods we covered sir three methods execute query execute update execute method execute query method is always applicable for select queries execute update method is always applicable for sir non select queries execute method is applicable for both the select and the non select queries and the execute method can be used to execute stored procedures okay sir by using callable statement already we covered right okay last one sir execute batch execute batch one more execute method sir this is the execute batch if you want to execute batch updates are you getting that a batch batch is nothing but one a group of sql queries if you want to execute a group of sql queries are you getting a batch batch then we can go for one execute batch method right sir very very simple sir how to use execute batch method how you can use execute batch method st dot execute batch sir are you getting st dot execute batch are you getting or instead of that let me keep more elaboration right up to this are you able to understand right sir we can use execute batch method to execute batch updates okay very simple sir suppose my requirement is i want to execute i want to execute sir 1000 sql queries are you getting i want to execute how many sql queries 1000 sql queries 1000 sql queries sir don't send one by one one by one if you send first one 
after completing that second one after completing the third one performance is going to be affected that's why i will keep all those thousand queries into a single batch are getting into a single batch and uh, sir send that batch of sql queries at a time to the database are getting so database engine will execute sir query by query and so on total result uh, the database engine will send at a time at a time so the biggest advantage of batch updates is performance will be improved performance will be improved we are not required to communicate with the database several times network traffic by default will be reduced i hope i covered in detail in my batch updates concept right so very simple assume assume that i'm creating statement object statement st is equal to con dot create statement statement st is equal to con dot create statement sir i have thousand sql queries are there don't send these thousand sql queries sir one by one one by one to the database what i have to do sir st dot add batch are getting st dot add batch a query one just pass the query one sir st dot add batch a query two just i'm adding queries to the batch sir okay dot 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 st dot add batch a sir i have to pass how many queries right query thousand remember that query thousand so query one query two query thousand all these thousand queries added to the batch remember this now i want to execute this batch of sql queries for that we should go for st dot execute batch clear for all of you right now all these thousand sql queries will send to the database and all these queries will be executed one by one one by one and the provide total result at a time clear for all of you right sir fourth method execute method in jdbc what is that fourth method sir execute batch clear for all of you right okay that's all sir sir total in jdbc total how many execute methods are available sir four method execute query execute update execute and execute batch like four methods are available right sir what is the first method remember that execute query method is applicable only for select queries sir execute update method is applicable for non select queries next execute method we can use to execute individual queries to execute stored procedures right okay sir if you don't know the type of the query sir it may be select or non select a query then happily we can use execute method execute method is applicable for both select and non select a queries next uh, even you can use execute method to call stored procedures also next execute batch method can be used uh, to execute batch updates either with simple statement or with prepared statement right clear for all of you right okay that's all make sure sir you people should aware so next uh, execute query execute update execute these three methods are applicable for simple statement for simple statement uh, for for simple statement prepared statement next uh, callable statement only execute method is applicable for callable statement next uh, execute batch is applicable only for batch updates except a batch updates we never going to use this method anywhere are you in a position to understand if any person is asking can you please tell in jdbc how many execute methods are available can you please explain the purpose with basic syntaxes you should be in a position to give left and right to that entire person clear sir are you in a position to understand right that's all sir thank you